Running's relatively easy at a straight line. As soon as you load bear sideways, it gives them so much more confidence for a sport type scenario. So this is where you get people, if you've got an outdoor area, fantastic. If you had, if it's in a, just a small clinic, it's gonna be more difficult. You might have to take them somewhere and show them what to do. But when you're doing a side step, I would walk them through it. So it's you're walking them through load bear and that. Think about the lateral step up you just did. You're gonna go down and push back. And so they walk through it, down and push back. And with an A70, they'll find, oh, it's okay. They might be a bit sort of like, oh, what am I supposed to do? So they have to really think about, okay, down, come back. One, two, three, down, come back. And then you go, okay, round two. I want you to add a little bit of a hop on there. So, okay, hop, bang. And they'll do it wrong, and you've got to try and correct them. You've got to spot what they're doing wrong. They'll probably land and then just step back which is like the lateral step up and then just coming off. They've got to bounce back. So they go, okay, you've got to land and push off. So they go, okay, and push off. They come back to the same line that they were at. Go laterally, come back to the same line. Go laterally, land on their toe. Just do one, two, three at a time. Come back, do the other leg. So when they go back, do the opposite side to tell their brain, this is what I'm supposed to do. It's also telling them to push off on one leg, on the injured side. Yep, so come off, bang, toe first. Now, when they land, that knee has to be over that foot, not going in. So you need to watch them in the video, or video them from this angle to see whether when they land, when they slow down, do they bang, roll in like that. If they're doing that, that movement pattern has to be corrected before you start adding in more and more and more load and impact and more repetitions and more days because you don't want to promote a bad movement pattern or impact that into that position. And then they just need to get aggressive with it. Once they're really good, they get the confidence up, they're just launching back. Now some part of this is easy for people who've got a skill at it. They played touch 40 or they played rugby when they were 12 through to 18. It's going to be so much easier because it's just implanted into their brain how to fake and sidestep. So some people are going to be better than it than others simply CNS wise. You may find it hard for people, but if you've got a client who has to sidestep, they're probably going to have some skill at it anyway. This is not for everybody. So even if you know, the 50 year old person, my mum at 74 had an ACL recon, I'm not going to get into doing this. I might get into doing lateral step ups because that's important to get up and down things in and out of cars, up and down places, but she does not need to do that. So choose your client for this one because some people will never get it and it's not worth doing for them. Other people, it's an amazing breakthrough, like I said, for my friend to get the guys, I just feel so much more confident now. This is, and all of a sudden their psychology has come out of their knee. There was something holding them back and it wasn't strength and it wasn't healing and it wasn't their ligament in there, it was this. It's that connection. They sort of feel part of their knees, part of them now. It's not this bung knee anymore. And that's a huge breakthrough for your client. And this is something we're going to talk about is some part of your job is psychology in a way. Getting their mental health on track about their injury. And you can do that through exercise and repetition. Just as much as sitting down and having a chat. So their sidestep might be into a square. That might be something they want to aim for. So they get the Control right. Um, and then the last one is your change direction. Like, I need to go back to soccer. Right. I need you changing direction because that's what you do. I know that's what you do in a sport. I need you confident with that movement on your knee. So a change direction meaning the first one you'll do is a 45. So I'm running this way and I want to plant and go that way. It's not a sidestep. It's almost like a dummy or a fakey, okay? But I call it a change direction. What I don't want them practicing is going this way, landing that foot there, and then expecting to rotate 90 on that because they're gonna have to pivot through there. Now, if they're in studded boots, it's not really gonna work, is it? So you need to get that person running on a 45, landing their foot straight, so there's only a 45 degree change, which the knee can handle. 
So if running here, get them to land there, and then take off that way. Way easier, way safer, way better for that knee. Running 45, change, change, change like that. Okay? So use that as your change direction. Again, right up the end of that ACL program or that knee rehab program, right up the top end. 